Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new video on Big Time, an update. Um, we'll focus on the technicals. We'll talk a little bit about the fundamentals and just the whole uh, fundamental situation of, of Big Time. It's obviously, as most of you know, uh, it's one of the biggest um, it's, it's one of the biggest token launches we've seen in a while. It, it hasn't really moved since yesterday evening, but yesterday it still was very volatile. Um, the market structure is also becoming a little bit more clear, at least on a 15-minute time frame. Uh, that's where we'll be analyzing it, which is not ideal, I'm just telling you. Um, I, I, I prefer analyzing on the one-hour or on the four-hour time frame at least. Um, but sometimes you, you have to work with, with what you've got, right? So that's what we'll do. We'll do a full analysis. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about big time and whether it could be a good buy on the on, on the long term, for example. I made a video on it called Should You Buy Big Time, Big time Now, which, which goes about the project, like what it is, uh, but it also tells you a little bit about the tokenomics, all right, which is very, very important when investing in a new project. Uh, so there's more inf information in there. In this video, like I said, we'll focus on the technicals. So that is what we will do. Uh, so let's get right into it. So when we're taking a look at Big Time right, right now, so, some things we see is that the open interest, first of all, is still very high. So still a lot of people are in positions. So what that means is that volatility is expected. Now, something else we see is that the volume is actually dropping down. So that's a somewhat of a bearish indication. All right. So, so that's kind of what, it, what, what we need to know, um, first of all. And then if we take a look at the technicals, like I would say, it's, it's a bit difficult because you would say that this is somewhat of a bearish market structure uh, and that the price is dropping down, but that isn't really true. Like there's sure there's a bit of bearish momentum here uh, and it's respecting it so far, but it's also like big time is now just moving in these ranges and then between the ranges you have rallies and dumps. So I'm not sure if this is going to be respected, this, this market structure that we can see on the chart right now. Now I do think that if if we're talking about those those ranges again, which you know I, I just said, uh, I do think that provides us with a, a better indication of what will happen with big time, um, because that means, or at least I think, that big time right now is in this range right here between ultimately like twenty cents, because that's such a strong psychological level, and then um, all the way to the bottom right here, which is actually more right here around eighteen point seven cents. Um, and then 22 and a half cents, it's in that range. All right, so let me repeat that between 22 and a half cents and 18.7 cents. And what we'll see today, probably, hopefully, it is the weekend, so it's not guaranteed because the weekend usually the price doesn't move that much. But what we will eventually see is that uh, big time will either, and it's hard to say what's most likely, all right, that's just hard to say, especially with these new coins. But in general, everything you need to know is that big time will either break above 22 and a half cents, which will cause a further rallying up to 25 and 27 cents with the potential of breaking above that. But that depends on how it reacts to the resistance. So it's either that or big time will break down below its major supports between 20, 19, 18, 18.7 cents, and then start dropping down towards 15 cents and lower. All right, it's one of these two scenarios and I can already predict the comments. Uh, great analysis. You're just telling me that, it's, that it can, can go up or can go down. Uh, that's just the truth, all right? And I do have a bias, don't worry. I'll tell you what I think is most likely, but that's trading, all right? With trading, you should expect both scenarios, but you should know when to profit and how to profit off of both scenarios. So I think given what we're seeing with the volume and what we know, and that's the fundamental part, what we know about these new token launches, usually they drop down after a while. So that's why I think it's more likely that maybe big time will range for a little bit longer. But eventually, I do think that bearish breakout is most likely. Um, it's just not that I'm going to short it right now because I will wait for that confirmation. And I would advise you to do the same and then make your decisions by yourself based on that. Uh, but for now, that's my full analysis on big time. So I briefly want to tell you as well that I am a full-time trader. If you want to receive access to my trades as signals, I have a premium group where I post them all. Uh, there's also a com trader's community and my own trading guide for if you want to learn how to analyze yourself. If that sounds interesting, consider joining. Uh, links will be down in the description or the pinned comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Have a great weekend and bye.